What's up everyone? It's Cody I'm back with another Kotlin tutorial. So in our last video we talked about data types. I learned a lot about um, emojis and why I should not deviate too far off the script. So in this video we are going to talk about variables in Kotlin. Um, it should be quite a bit quicker than the data types video. So let's just uh, get into it. So we'll open up our project panel and then we will go ahead and create a new Kotlin filer class similar to what we have been doing and we'll just call this one variables. So now that it is created ready to go once again we will type in main press enter and then our function is all ready to go. So this is going to be talking about variables in Kotlin as I said uh, and so I want to get a little bit of redemption for that uh, emoji flub. So um, we'll just start off by defining our variable as val. Okay, emoji, please work. Uh, we'll set it equal to a string. And then I will select an emoji that will hopefully work. Um, and then we will do a print line with OK emoji, please work. And then we will hit run over here, run variable KT. And holy moly, it works. All right, cool. So, <laughs> um, so a little bit about variables. So these allow us, instead of having to define everything that we're going to print out, into one spot. So in our last video with data types, we would have done this. Instead of doing that, we just have to define it in some variable and then we can reference it there. Um, the nice thing is you can use it in multiple spots, you can reference variables multiple times. Uh, and in every single application you build, you will be using variables. So they they are important to to understand so let's say uh so for our okay emoji please work let's say i want to change this now to well we can see the red squiggles so we'll just uh we'll change it i guess maybe to the laughing one because you'll notice that it says uh, if we hover over it val cannot be reassigned so what does this mean well simply put um it, the val keyword, uh, it means that the field is read only. So if we want the field to be writable, then it should be declared as a var instead. So a more common term for this idea of like read only versus being able to write to the field is immutable and uh, mutable respectively. So immutable is the idea of val. So we'll just say this is immutable. And then let's say that we want this one to now be mutable. So we can say var changing emoji equal to, and then if we want to select our crying emoji face again, let's try that one more time, the crying emoji face. And then we want to do print line with our changing emoji. You'll notice that IntelliJ will um, highlight this. It says the variable is never modified and can be declared immutable using val. So anytime that you declare a var that doesn't need to be a var, IntelliJ will very annoyingly let you know that. So since I want to show an example of this though, we will say we're going to change that to the laughing emoji. So now it is changing, so we now do have a reason to use var over val. We go ahead and press run, and over here we have crying emoji, crying emoji, and laughing emoji. So that's all fun and games, but uh, let's talk about a more common use case for using var. So with var, you may need to count something. <clears throat> Wow, my voice sounded really weird there. Uh, we, you may want to count something. So let's say we have a counter. We set it equal to zero. 
and then we do print line and then counter plus plus. So what this plus plus is doing is it is incrementing the value by one and setting it equal to itself. So this would be similar to us saying counter equals counter plus one but it's just uh, a little bit shorthand. And it'll, you'll even notice IntelliJ will highlight it, tell you that you could replace it with this plus equals one. In our case, we're just gonna use the counter plus plus. And then we'll do a couple more of these, just to say counter plus plus, print line, counter plus plus, and then go ahead and run. So you can see our counter was zero and then incremented to one and then two. So in general, um, kind of my reasoning around using a val is when you get into more complicated situations, you want your fields to be immutable. So complicated situations, I'm talking about when you're working with um, multiple threads and you want to have um, a good amount of thread safety in there, you don't want your uh, values changing from one thread to another. Don't worry if none of this makes sense. Um, in a future video, we will talk about multi-threading, but for now, just know that the majority of the time, if you can use a val, use the val because it will be much safer for the work that you will be doing in the future. If you have no other choice, feel free to use a var. Uh, when I use var, it's usually in situations where the field has to change. There's no way around it. So with that, there's not really a whole lot else to talk about with um, with variables. They are fairly simple. You use them to store values and reuse them later on. And we will be using them um, a lot more in future videos. So if you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you get all of the updates for this tutorial sent right to your smartphone via push notifications. And otherwise, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.